Hey guys, and welcome back to another dungeon game tutorial. Now, I don't know if this is like part 11 or part 12 or something like that, but today we got another video, one of the last. We're going to do trading next. And this video is just how you build because you need some nice building for people to actually play your game. So right here, I got a kind of medieval time uh, building, some, something you might see in a dungeon quest type game. And I'm going to show you guys how to build one just like this in this video. Now, first of all, these are meshes right here. They're all rounded blocks. So the, this is the mesh ID. So if you want to copy that, it's right there. And it's just I resize them and put them all around this block, which is a union. So I'm going to just duplicate this so you guys can see right now. So this is a union. What I basically do to create one of these is I place a part down and I scale it. I like using the grid to help me. So I kind of do it like line it up right there. Then line it up right there. And then I'll just basically size it up and put it like that. Now... You could build walls, but what I did, I was a little lazy, is I just had this block, and then what I did was I duplicated it, made it here, I, I put it there, so I could just take it out of here and scale it like that, and once I do that, I can put it right here, and if I put it through to the other side, and... oh. Control Z if you want to undo. You can put it like this. And this is going to let it go past and uh, basically break through, break a hole inside. So what you're going to do is go to the model tab and press negate. And then uh, pr press control and click the whole block and press union. And now there's a hole inside of there. But what you want to do here is you want to put it all the way through. So you're going to put it like that and negate union. Oh, but since, okay, so I forgot a part. So you're going to do that. But first, what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate the block, then scale it a little down. So there's a block inside a block that's a little smaller. So you're going to do it like that. And then you're going to make sure it lines up on all sides. So inside there, you want to make it a little smaller. Hold shift while you do this, by the way. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. Nice. And now you're going to negate that and then union that whole thing. So now you can't see it, but there's a hole inside there. So we're going to negate that and union that. And now you can actually go inside. And this is going to be our door right here, which we will make a door in a sec. Okay, so the bricks. The bricks are a difficult part, and the hardest part of this all. So you see, I'm going to duplicate one of these, but I'm going to take it out of here. And this is just a mesh part. Just implement, uh, then just add a mesh part into the workspace and copy the ID you see right here and make it the concrete texture. And it should be right here. Now... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this concrete also, but there's going to be different colors. So that's concrete, but what I do is I make that one a lighter concrete, as you see there. So probably somewhere around ghost gray. Oh, no. Yeah, ghost gray. Uh, ghost gray is a good color. Uh, where, did the, where did that mesh part go? Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, that's that's the exact same color. So, no, we need it a little lighter. So, probably around... A... Hmm. I... Wait, did it... Does it not change colors as a union? Oh, so I don't... I think you have to change the color before it comes a union. So, what I would do there is just change the color of the bricks because that's what you can change. So, I'd make a, that a ghost gray. So there you go, that's Ghost Gray. And now you can go here and align your bricks up. Now, I would just copy and paste, but I do them different. So like here, you can make that like that, and then just make that, duplicate it up there, shrink that. So you got a little diversity in the bricks. 
so we're gonna push that down there and we're gonna make that uh, hold shift to scale it all down at once although it doesn't work with mesh parts so no need to so we'll just we'll just do it a little like that and if you want to know what i did if you want to see what i did there just do four little ones so i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna do that maybe a little bigger so once it's small you can do it up but you can't shrink down oh apparently you can actually so hold shift to shrink uh, to do uh, to make it bigger or shrink at once it just doesn't work for some sizes though so like this you can't but once it's like the square size you can so we're gonna go here and you see it's right there we're going to make actually we're gonna control z that make it a little smaller and duplicate that and we're gonna just keep duplicating this down there and that's about what i did there so you just want to duplicate this all around the building now you might be asking what how i made the interior cobblestone and how i made this that if they're all a union now this is why i suggest doing the walls and not making a union because it's a lot more complicated making a union actually you can't change the colors of the materials as well so what you're going to do is you if you did it this way you're going to create some extra walls so if you look out here now this is the union but here is another wall they're about the same but you can see that gap in between where all the rats are hiding <laughs> probably but uh, so i uh, you're, you just want to make a wall, uh, four walls around, and make one a around this too. Now, for the bricks, there's this part right here, which if you can see here, is all around. And I'm going to show you how to do that uh, right now. So, uh, what you, we're going to do here... What we're going to do here is we're going to take a bunch of darker color mesh parts. They're still the same mesh part. And we're going to put them over each other, different sizes. And we're going to just copy here. So this isn't a model. I've uh, So you can just duplicate that and then put it, just rotate it around the different sides of your room, uh, of your of your house. And now what we're going to do. We're going to take those same bricks and we're going to just scale them and make them a little darker color and uh, we're going to just place them right there. Now this is just a wood texture block and these are some wood plank textured blocks also going in a diagonal direction. Yeah, it basically just adds. Now this looks like grout right here because it's a lighter color, but they don't know that that's the union. So it just looks like grout between the bricks. Uh, inside here, we got the different textures. We got some lanterns here. They add a little point light, spotlight, and one other light, I think. Uh, well, we don't have to go into that, but this is a particle emitter right here. Uh, this is a union. It basically, uh, I used a cylinder, sorry, a cylinder and scaled it inside and made a little hole through here. And now uh, these are particle emitters. There's one particle emitter in here doing it there. The lifetime ends right here. And the other particle emitter goes down. And it is a color sequence, uh, green, blue, and white. So that's that. This is another union, uh, just a circle here that has no inside you just use the i i got grabbed a circle from the uh as a mesh part and made a union out of that but you could use anything like a cylinder works too these are stairs blocks on top of each other pretty simple up here is some uh some beds made of cylinders as the pillows and some blocks nothing special right next to each other another lantern and these are some shutters blocks and on the window which has a wood frame these are some walls again this is using the gap fill plugin so if you use the gap fill 
you can uh, make these triangles here, gap fill from this point, which goes from here to here, which is the top of this pipe thing, not pipe, but this wood block going up. So you end the gap fill on that uh, corner of that vort uh, the ver uh, vert vertex. Holy crap. Uh, right there. And then you do the same for here. You can actually duplicate it and uh, you rotate it, tilt it actually, because it's not going to yeah, it will be a rotate, not a tilt. Okay, so then this is just a scale from the top of this all the way here, and you're going to just copy what you did on that side here. So I uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory from there. These are a bunch of crosses, pretty easy, and some. if you want to cut off the corners, so what you can do is, uh, yeah, these look kind of ugly, so you're going to take a part, and you're going to do the union and the so I uh, put the part down here and then what you can do is just scale through there. It's not going to hurt any of these other parts, only the part that it's unioned with. So we're going to negate it in a second. Okay, so we're going to model negate and then we're going to hold control and alt because this isn't a model and we're going to do that and then press union and there you go. It's gone. And the other part is gone too. So you just remove that corner. You can do it anywhere. But the only downside is it makes this part a union. So it'll have to move in sync and not scale by each axis. Uh, sorry if this video was a little hard to understand. If you want me to make a, uh, a more a more explanation longer video, I can. But I, I tried the best I could during this. Anyway, I oh I also suggest using a humanoid to I uh, to compare the size ratios. So you don't want your building being gigantic. So this is the size of a normal uh at the normal scale of a Roblox R15 character. So you just want to compare your build against this. Again, sorry if this was under uh, <laughs> Sorry if it was hard to understand. I'll uh if you want me to make a new one, I'll do that. Leave your comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe. And next video is trading and maybe quests. Peace.